we'll just give a shout out for it. That's right. A little shout out. Where's Trey today? Where is Trey today? Oh, we've got friends there. They finished 38 and 35. Justin and Terry. Justin and Terry from our league. Yeah, there you go. In Indiana, they went to the heart. They won their way to the heart. I don't know what to buy. Fifteen hundred, I think. Yeah, it went up. So it looks like Ryan in the blue is tagged first, the light blue. <coughs> and Ryan Poles. But they both money. Linda with an ace ten and Joe Brunson with a pair of jacks. Looks like, like two best hands here. Oh, pocket six is by Heather. I missed that. She makes a call. Linda makes a raise to 450. So it was pretty exciting, though, because, you know, you get these updates and they're down, they're up. Joe announces a re raise. Then, 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 bubble, wait, wait, wait. Took him out, gave him the bubble, and they both made the money. So. Joe raised to 1125. Back to Linda. Oh. Linda's Linda out. out. No. Joe takes it down with his jacks. Linda folds the re raise, the raise 10. We'll move on to the next hand. So after the first break, just to give you an idea of where we stand on chips, Ryan Helms is our chip leader with slightly over 10,000 in chips, followed by Linda, who is sitting around the 9750 mark, and in third place is Steve Day, about 5,900 in chips. Give you an idea of, oops, I'm sorry, Brandon, who has 7,450 in chips, is our third place. I don't know my numbers. <laughs> and our low chip stack coming back from break is Robert with 2550. Less than half a starting stack. Blinds are at 1 2. No. Yes. Yes. Blinds are at 1 2 this level. Cards are near. Then it calls at three four suited. Mark the Zen with Jack Nine. Spades as well. Joe Brunson playing the Brunson. Finally. It's like we're gonna have three players or five players to the flop. Six three six is our flop. No player hits any of that. Six. Linda hit her three. What is she? Ah. She does have two pair. Then it does bet 600. Brandon calls with a gut shot. We're heads up. There goes a two. Brandon needs a seven or a four to win this hand. Does not get it. Linda's going to get the check mark. Brandon checked. Linda checks as well. Shows the three. Brandon folds. Linda rakes into the pot. Big blinder out there, so which means Robert no, Newman back first. All ten players are still in a tonight's tournament. Coming back from break, it did look like Robert had the lowest stack at twenty-five hundred and fifty. 
Just like when you go into the uh, Asian massage. I know. You're very selective. I knew yeah. that was coming. We know. You're, you're no John Travolta. It had to go oh, there. Oh, you don't ask them all. Oh, you realize your tag is sticking out from you. What is? Your tag, your poker tag. Oh. Heather Folds. I mean, they look cool. They're dead. Robert Paul's card. Heather wasn't. Stephen Paul. Paul's your cards. I had to stick my tag somewhere. Fold. Here we go. Ed Folds. At Steve's. Joe Steve. Brunson with the Brunson, the Doyle Brunson again. Four Folds. Linda raises to 425. Folds. Paul Folds. Steve Folds. I wonder if he feels some obligation to have to play this hand. I would think so. No, he mucks it. I feel obliged to play any suited cards just because of you. You should. <laughs> I played a seven deuce of diamonds last night in a tournament and rivered my flush and the lady that I took a lot of chips from couldn't understand my play and I said, well, I am suited there. That will echo in her mind the rest of her life. He is standing, isn't he? Wow. Linda Folds. Brandon Folds. Marco shoved all in with an ace four. All the way around. I don't know. Good timing on that. So button moves and Rob Newman is sacked first this hand. It's like our dealer changing clothes every break. <laughs> Did she have like a purple striped shirt on earlier? I'm chroma keying her. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that for advertising purposes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch out, bright pink is next. <laughs> no, that one's fine. I like that hand fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm just afraid that it's a little it's blurry at the moment. Um, leave it on there and I'm going to do it. Okay. Oops. Robert Folds. Yeah, perfect. Is that good? A little bit? All right. I was just trying to get rid of that light. Call Coles. Oh, I see. How's that? Can back it out a little bit more? Go Coles. Brandon Cole. That's Brandon Cole. Oh, there it is again. Whoop, there it is. Halfway there, Brandon. Smidge. Legitimately. Smidge. No. Oh, Do you need more I smidges? Want. Heather raises one. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. Oh, oh that's a nice hand. Oh, Brandon Cole. Ta-da. The miracle of technology. He's not paying any attention. He's full. He's still crying. Oh, I like it. Vogelson. It is. Oh, boom. Yeah. Oh, Brandon calls. Get that Brandon calls <laughs> button. <laughs> Three, four, off suit. It's going to be sad when queens get crushed by this. He has true gambler in him. That's a three. He's getting there. Oh, well, Brandon, oh, uh, Brandon gets a free card. Gets a gut shot added into it. And a call. <laughs> See what the river brings for either either player. Check mark to Heather. And a queen survive. A little bit of sweat there on Heather's part. Never let him see you sweat. Mm -mm. But if you do, sweat profusely. Because <laughs> it keeps him away. <laughs> yes, that's right. 
keeps him wondering. We have half the table wearing sunglasses in the middle of the day and the other half not. Couple big hands here. Good eye, good eye. Hold. And hold. Three oh. aces out there. When the call. <clears throat> when the Johnson, four five suit, makes a call. Moskowitz folds. Hold. Hold. Hit the button. Brandon raises seven twenty five. Brandon H three suited. Seven twenty five. Bet. Marco folds. Over to Heather, ace queen. Um, about twenty four. Heather wants to know how much oh, sorry, Brandon has behind him. Brandon sitting there in the red Ohio State shirt. She folded. I think both uh, Heather and Paul are the diamond factories today. <laughs> into song again tonight. At the beginning of the second. So it looks like Button is on Heather, which means Linda Johnson in the green is to act first. Good thing we color coordinated them before we started the game. Are we right? Page on the cards. I was only going to do one for a second. Level four. Blinds are now 153 after this hand. First LJ. Not Linda's out. Linda's out. Over to Paul. Paul folds. <laughs> Hit the button. He used to be in a really deep voice. Paul folds. <laughs> it, it gives him a great table image when he wants to buy the pot. He just doesn't do that very often. Is a very patient man. Ed Folds. I hate that piece of cup. Ryan Folds. I think the piece of cup is not the same. Yeah, they're never coming back. Another win for Marco. That's all you gotta do, Tony, is just bet. I've tried that, it doesn't work for me. That's because you play with cards on me. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Okay, from here on out, I'm only playing with Marco. One fifty three is our current blind level. The pressure is starting to build a little bit on the lower stacks. Some people would argue that that isn't always a random event. Your cards are your cards, exactly. that's what dealt to you, and a lot of people stick to that. Had a little missed deal there, we're going to reshuffle. Uh, 
I really haven't been too many high pocket pairs in people's hands. Favorite kind of problem, not mine. Cool. <laughs> All ten players, cards showing. Next on Paul Moskowitz, who Paul folds. Paul folds. Joe folds. Brandon folds. Brandon folds? Oh, man. Must have mixed up this button. <laughs> did, you, did you hit the Paul folds instead of Brandon Calls button? Yes. Brian does call his Jack Nine suited. Got four, four players to the flop. Looks like Ed to act first with his A7. And Linda checks. Five, <coughs> excuse me, five eight eight is the flop. Steve does hit a pair of five. And bets at it. And let's it go. Three, three. Uh, it's the one time I don't play my A3. Best hand wins the pot with a bet. which means that Steve Day, seat number two to act first. Brian announces raise with his ace jack suited. Makes it twelve hundred. Heather and Robert fold. And fold. Nope. Kind of fold. Paul fold. Joe calls. Joe with his eight nine of clubs calls. What? Could be an interesting thought for somebody. Heads up action. Ace Jack hits two pair. Ryan. Ryan hits two pair. Joe with a gut shot. <clears throat> I have not seen him chase gut shots before, so I'm going to say it's Yeah, I agree. I don't think Joe chases a lot. Maybe some flush draws, but I don't see him chasing a gut shot. Yeah. But a lot of that comes into frustration. I mean, he's he's been folding a lot of hands and sees a slight opportunity here. He might just call. Yeah. But I'm with you, Tony. I don't think he's going to make it. Yeah. He's fumbling with his cards. Like, oh, yeah, definitely. Shows it even. Free info for everyone. No. 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 Oh, stop whining, Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> oh, There's always one. Oh, I wear pants. Go with the pants. Thank you, Steve. What a fun. Those risky moments. One of those high pinch moments. The button is on Linda, which means degree, that Joe Brunson in the <laughs> Chase the Bracelet t-shirt over there is going to be acting first. Yeah. Clock has been called on the deal. In a minute. Throw the clock out there when you're doing all these cards We all check blind. Yeah, Paul, yeah, yeah. Paul, Paul. 
One person has not read. There it is. <laughs> Moskowitz and Brandon both have ace king. Oh man, fireworks! Here we come. <laughs> and they both have two percent. All in for Brandon. Brandon announces all in. Brandon jams all in with his ace king. I think that's going to get Moskowitz to fold. I don't know. Squeaky Moskowitz, I think, is going to call on this one. Three. He's been. Fold. Thirty-seven and a quarter. You see, Ed has one of those kings as well. Unfold. Linda folds. Over to Paul. <laughs> this is one of the hands that he likes to play. Thirty-seven and a quarter. Yes, sir. A yes, sir. Enthusiastically, enthusiastically s- stated by Brandon. We have a player at risk for all his chips at the moment. I can't see Steve in this. Actually, ask, uh, acting like he's going to fold. <clears throat> he said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. That was, uh, uh-uh. I didn't say that. And he calls. Or goes all in. And most likely we're going to have a chop. I mean, he's already spent. Does it matter? No, not right. Just good luck. Uh-oh. Heart. Right. It's the heart. No, no, no. no. It's a chop pot. All right, you guys got to make out. You get one Robert says the two players need to make out. And I'm just going to leave the comment stand as it is. Yep. We'll leave that to the imagination. That hand told us a lot. That hand told us a lot. Three Paul made the call, so that means tonight you left the house with at least one of his balls intact. <laughs> oh, no, it was an offsuit. What the hell were you thinking? Why wow. did you call that? It just right. I can't believe it took oh, wait, him wait, that wait, long wait, to decide to call with his staff. That's all you got How left here. The ace king, why don't you call it? Right. So, so you owe me 50. With an ace king? Yeah, it's 150 each. Yeah, because it's 300. I thought it was 150. Well, you gave me 100. So right? Yes. Oh, you owe him 50. You owe me 50. Oh, you had a king? Yeah. I had 30. Yeah, I, 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 well, I, I had a My last one. I had a king. I had a king. I had a king. Yeah. No, it was 50. I think it was a small one. All off. I didn't count mine. Well, button is on Paul Moskowitz, which means Brandon in the red next first. 37 and a quarter. I'm pretty sure Paul throwed for 50. Listen, I had 37 and a quarter. I had 37 and a quarter. Yes. Yeah. Well, Brandon would have done the same with either a queen king or ace queen or Moskowitz could have won yeah. that. You lose. That's why I only gave him 100. Right. But he must all have a quarter. How can I do Yeah, because he only has 37 50. I have 50 more than what I had when we chopped. So Brandon. Brandon next first. 10 7 of her. This is what we're chopping. This is what I have. Right. That's what we're chopping. Right. There we go. So you own the rest, Paul. You don't have lost it. You like to go. I have the spade. Folks. Go to Marco in the dark blue. Whatever. That's Bolt. Bob Newman. Bolt. Go to Ed. And he folds. Okay. Then to fold your 3 4. Go to Moskowitz. He folds. Steve Day gives him a walk. Joe actually had a hand in the big ball. And showed it. It wasn't even 3 8. You can't play it unless it's 3 8. Well, the dealer would have to fight. Honestly, if you're going to play a game, you got to play her favorite hand. She's in the box. Right. So what's your favorite hand? Let's do the shout-out. I don't really have one. Actually, my favorite is Jack Tennis Well, there you go. So Jack Tennis Ditto on that. Um, personally, my favorite hand is one that wins. I'd rather play that over there. 
Or if I need to pick a pre-flop hand, pocket aces. That's pretty much of a favorite of mine. Where's, where's the... <laughs> People have all these. People always have these crazy hands. Uh, give me aces. I, I. That's my favorite. Ah, logic wins again. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Once again, Tony, you have a data analysis person sitting next to you. Girl. Greatest coder in the world, too. Is that right? <laughs> Ryan calls three. That's what I'm told. Here. And if you want to buy me in the World Series of Poker main event, that's great. Just, uh, yep. I'll give you my email address after the show. Yep. In a bank routing number where you can wire the ten grand. Six. Linda raises to six hundred. Linda with the ten jack that they were talking about raises to six hundred. No holes. Brandon with the six ten. Now you really are happy. Cool. And he is short stacked, so he calls. And Ryan Helms, 10 queen. And a light blue. Three players this flop, all holding a 10. With Ace Ace Queen. Ryan gets the best of that flop. And Linda with gut shot. Looks like Ryan bangs at it. Linda and calls. Linda calls. Brandon Gonna be heads up here. Almost 20% for Linda here. The only outs she does have are listed at the top of your screen with kings. One of three kings left in the deck. We three kings. Five is no good for her. Whiff. Ryan's going to wonder if he's just getting played with an ace. Sticking, sticking to her guns here. Big bet on the end could get Ryan off his hand. Very true. Yeah, he missed his flush draw. Oh, she didn't. Ryan scoops the pot. Having a uh, wow. cash game. I wonder if we can move it over here. Oh, I asked him. <laughs> Might be a good idea. We could use. I could. I could use the work. Learning this. Steve pocket aces. Brandon ace king. We could see some all in action. You have plenty of guys numbers. I got some girls. This is it for Brandon. Steve sure. limps in with his aces, hoping that Brandon's going to jam. He's got the jamming hand. Steve's going to insta call. Well, I mean, he's calling. He oh! Insta -call. First player's at risk. 6% for Brandon. Down to 1%, down to the check mark for Steve. Wow. And our first player, Brandon, is out for game number nine. And then there were nine. Put a skull and crossbow next to his face. 
if I didn't call oh, the okay after the fight. Yeah. 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 Oh, I can do that, yeah. All right, lost our first player. We're nine, nine handed now. Lines are up. Next hand, level six. And if you're all interested, there's PJ's toes in the upper left corner of your screen. I still see them. Newman with queens here. Joe Brunson with dines. <laughs> I, couldn't, I, had, I couldn't say that on the air, though. No, but it's funny. Right? Yeah. Rob Newman all in, putting his chips at risk with pocket queens. It's on Joe Brunson. He's thinking about it with his pocket nines. And he's the only person that could call here. Yeah, Ryan and Marco are both acting behind Joe, but most likely they're folding. And you never want to give information that you're going to fold. Joe announces all in. Joe all in. Joe tries to protect his hand. Interesting. Doesn't want any callers behind. Not that he's going to do Show me Jax. Don't show me enough. Don't show me that. Oh. Show me Jax. He's got tens. Okay, we have our second player at risk tonight. Oh, no. All right. Your heads up. Yeah, Rob Newman is still at risk. 22%. Check, check five. Ten. Oh, oh, oh no! Wow. <laughs> Newman gets a little taste of his own medicine there. It is the sick game. It's the sixth time I've Joe been Brunson with a full house lines life. over Jacks. Hits a two outer on the river to take Rob Newman out of the game, and he's wow, our second player gone. We'll let you listen in on the aftermath. No. <laughs> I would have rather just taken it right off the ass on the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but anticipation is the best part. No. Oh! <laughs> well, that's maybe yes, three more right. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh. So much information. We are at the 200 400 level. This is level number six. We lost two players. After this level, wow. you will have a short 10 minute break. When again. you were thinking, and then when you went all in, I was like, perfect. He's got a smaller pair than I did. I really, yeah, I had, I really didn't think he had jacks, maybe 10s. You know, some. You want two? Some of them Oh, that was so sick. It wouldn't matter. They were all good there. Damn, yeah. Rob. Ed Colds. Marco gets a decent starting hand. Down. And they've down. all been down. 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 We might hear Brandon start snowing again this week. Hmm. Here's a special treat. Busted out a few weeks ago and I think fell asleep and his snoring was picked up by our cameras. <laughs> And you can hear that by looking at some of the archive footage of Chase the Bracelet. And where would you find those, Tony? Go to PokerOnAir.com and go to the on-demand section for season number three, Chase the Bracelet. Scroll down all the way to the bottom and uh, look for what game would that be? That was two weeks ago. That's correct. You're the numbers guy. Two weeks ago. Chase the 20th. Which was like three weeks ago because we were off last week for Mother's Day. Yes. Well, no, Later, Robert. Really? Uh huh. Two weeks uh, ago. Last week we were off for Mother's Day. <laughs> hmm. However, we do have some heads up action here. Ryan hits his mid pair with sixes. Marco has ace queen over. And Ryan takes it down. Ryan makes a bet. Marco leaves. And Marco has a disgusted look on his face. I thought that was just how he normally looked. Mm, no. <coughs> Lines are two four. 
see the uh, first to act will be Ed Wurgler. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Linda. Call holds again. Steve calls. Hold. Joe holds. Steve calls with ace seven off. Ryan calls. Hold. Hold. Holds. Over to Heather, two, three, offsuit. Heather holds. Option U A. Big blind, queen, king of spades. Hold. Ed's all in. She has the uh, better percentages at the moment. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I took his five and gave him yeah, one. Yeah, he did. She I did. did. There's one, two. It said it's twenty. It's yeah, I, I saw. It's twenty fifty is the call. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's not that much. Two thousand fifty is the call. Mm, Steve did have an over with his surprise. A's. Ryan looks like he's going to fold his hand, too. Yeah. It gets a walk. I would have been on the fence post. I, I might have called that, depending on my mood. <coughs> but moves over to Heather. Paul Moss goes to act first. That's right, you're back to oh, you're up to shoulders. Knees and toes is not good. No, you want to go ahead and shoot that. Definitely want to go higher. Wow. Wait, we start down here with the blinds. Oh, you are so nice. right. Let's. Go fast back. Back. We're in the last fast blind back. before break. Oh, Is that right? Yes, 11 minutes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> just try to see if you on your toes. You got to just want to sure somebody's pay to take any two. Two is all right. Your first call. Hold. Steve folds. Joe folds. Paul. Ryan folds. Ryan calls with this nine jack of clubs. Oh. I do Mark like the nine jack of clubs. All in call, all in uh, by Marco. Marco with a jack king. I've seen, I've seen Linda call for less, but she does have somebody to act behind. Linda lets it go. Thirty-nine seventy-five. Ryan might look him up. Nope, lets him go. Agreed. I'm going to uh, change my no, slot to one, one, two, three, three now, because Brace plays not in your feet with me. I disagree. <laughs> Just to be different. Sure. He's going to be in there, I'm not going to be in there. Cards I'm, don't change however you flop them. This is true, but you know, you might be able to get a read off that first card off the deck. The window card. Here he comes. When the window comes in, I go, oh, my set. That'd be fun. I got it one time just for this I have to do that just so you guys... It's like uh, Mr. Steve Day, and the light green is going to be acting first. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Well, you know, Everybody you know, wants everything. You're not doing so seven-yard stud. Yeah. That's what it is. She thinks she's doing seven-yard stud. It's always the one seat. I know. I'm just... Uh, look at the dealer yeah. book, then I move all the way over here. Did you get a read on those? Yeah. No, Steve. Those are Steve's. Did you read them? No. Yeah, for some reason. Uh, actually, everybody put their in. cards back on and I'll hit reset. Steve's read yet? Hold on. I Keep reset it. it. We're good. Everybody hold your cards. Okay. Uh, Joe Brunson and Paul Moskowitz. Joe and Paul. Joe now? Joe. There you go. There we go. Thank you, players. Now we're good. It's Steve's ball. He's got this giant stack of chips in front of Paul's circle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Now I won't be able to take any more off the staff. Thanks. Yeah, right. Joe announces raise to 800. I was only kidding. Joe Brunson with King Queen of Hearts. That's 800. Heather folds. 
Linda may call it. Linda's calling with the ace, ten of hearts as well. What was the bet? 800. We're going to be heads up. Both players have hearts. Take a look at the flop here. Linda hits her ace. Joe bets 800. Linda calls. Linda with the best of it at the moment. Fourth Street. Not showing out to the top. Hey, can we something happen with the card there? like the hand reset. Uh, have, uh, what was it, Steve and Joe put their cards back on the readers? Can you just tell us what happened? That's okay. Ace of one. That's strange. I, I wonder if... Uh, Looks like something got reset or something. Yeah. We might be able to tell when we watch it back in there, when we review it. That explains Oh, yeah, Paul. Paul, tell him to give him some kind of special thing. So, the button moves to Steve, which means Marco Dag first. The cards. Button. Oh. Never mind that. Wow. Let's reset that to uh, Linda on the button. Joe Brinson act first. You know, it has to rub off eventually. Joe Brunson, Jack 10. Joe calls. Ryan folds. Oh. I think that Heather was a fold. Enthusiasm, mm -hmm. right? Heather folds. Over to Ed. Ed's gonna. Five ten Ed hearts. Jones. Or five Folds. ten diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I fold. Linda folds. Oh, yeah. Paul's going. Oh, Paul loses. Paul Paul Paul's all in. 25. All in with his ace nice. jack off suit. <laughs> 30, 25. Bet it's 30, 25. 25. Over to Steve with pocket threes. Ooh. I think pocket threes were good. I think so too. Especially if Joe folded. Joe Brenson, that's a go. Because you need those extra outs. <laughs> With a jack you got to have the extra outs. That extra 2%. Right. You got to have it. 2%? 2%. That's right. Thank you. 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 Ryan Holmes in the light blue deck first. Marco with Ace. We've seen Aces a lot tonight. Have we seen? We haven't seen Kings though, have we? Yeah, the first game of the night was at Kings. Oh, that's right. Steve calls with his King Six of Hearts. See, it's not just me. Everybody loves those suited cards. Oh, I'll admit it. Everybody loves them. Oh, Marco just limped in. Let's see if it punishes uh, Marco like it punished Linda that, that first game. 
Nope. Marco does it anyways. Hits it hard. He wants somebody to catch something now. Marco bets a thousand. And two quick bolts. That was weird. That was weird. This one down here is all stretched out. She heard me say Oh, okay. Linda, you're freaking the guys out. They didn't hear me say it. They heard you say can't hang. They were like, how did Linda hear us say that? I'm just that good. I guess we're going to have to whisper now. We can be like golf announcers. That's funny. Moskowitz in the 18th T fold. Special super hearing. Paul Moskowitz fold. <laughs> On the T right now is Ryan Hubs. Okay. Oh, that works. Oh, he says. Takes out his cutter. It all works. We have two players. Eight ten four. Eight. Neither player uh, hits anything. I hear an eight hundred bet by Linda. Swing and a miss, but Linda bets eight hundred. I thought I said if you called blind, you had to play. And she's on the green. No, that's not even fun. What's so funny? What are they saying? I pulled butt. Why? That's pretty. Where are they? Where are the animals? They're right down there. Well, the cat's nose is right. Oh! Jack, we know where Jack is. Jack, Jack says, game on. I'll play with you now. Watch this. Jack says, no trespassing. Yeah, they're tying raw meat to the cat. There we go. Overhead shot. Now we see what's going Sorry, on. Sorry, Tony. <laughs> Come here, Jack. Come here. I need old cat playing with you. Come here. And that signifies break. Blinds are posted. They need to play the hand. Yep. yep. We need to play out this hand. That'll work. Are we playing this hand? Yes. The blinds are posted. All right. Last cheap one. Everybody in? Yep. Family pot? No. Nobody wants to play. Everyone wants Jackson. to go break. I've got pot. Usually the last hand before break uh, gets a little... I've got pot. Somebody usually goes out. What would you say? It might be blind. It's so good. Brownies and like that. Over to Ed, Ed Foltz. Over to Linda. Linda Foltz. Paul Moskowitz. Not even close to what he would play. <laughs> Paul Foltz. Ryan Queen Eight of Diamond. Joe Brunson thinking about his 10 jack. Does he want to get into a hand right before break? And let's it go. The answer is no. Marco Ray's with a 3 5. Ryan is coming in with his queen 8 suited. Actually, I, I think it's small blind, big blind. Well, we don't know. Unless I get a really big blind. Yeah, like that. Uh huh. Okay. 10 4 queen. Ryan looking pretty good. Ryan with the check mark. I had a 3. And that very quiet hand ends our second session of the night. Two players again. We'll be back in about 10 minutes, right, Tony? I believe so. All right, we'll, we'll see, see you then.
Are we taking three?